So there's the uh, there's the 3.7 out of the car, thank God, finally. But uh, yeah, it's it's out. <laughs> I'm happy to have it out. I, I I gotta say, it's nice to make some real progress. Okay, got some uh, parts for the Mustang. We have an Exedi Mach 500 clutch. It's right here. It's a single disc clutch, so should have some decent road manners. It's pretty pretty freaking heavy though, so I'm not uh, I don't have high hopes for easy stop and go traffic drivability, but whatever, it can hold like 750 pound-feet of torque, so that should be more than adequate. I've got bolts for it, got the bolts, and the flywheel. This is a stock Mustang GT 50 flywheel, which is about 10 pounds lighter than the V6 flywheel, so that's a nice thing. And I got a Exidy hydraulic throwout bearing, and uh, or hydraulic slave cylinder slash throwout bearing combination, and a spacer for it, so I can use it with the GT flywheel, so yeah. That's cool. And uh, BMR motor mounts, which are adjustable. I've got these little uh, little plates on the top that you can take off. For, each one's a quarter inch and you know, space, or, uh, drops the motor a quarter inch per plate, so that's nice. Got a set of those. And also poly bushings, which is cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now in terms of how much power these make, they make about 365 horsepower from the factory. Now of course that is factory horsepower, that's uh, with just a tune, you're looking at over 100 horsepower gain, over 100 pounds feet of torque gain. So we're talking about a motor that with just a tune could be making close to 500 crank horsepower and uh, well over 500 pound feet of torque. This is definitely a big upgrade over the stock uh, V6. And uh, even my V6 with all its mods was maybe pushing 300 wheel horsepower. This with the stock tune on 87 octane should be probably 20 horsepower above that. With 93 octane and uh, a good tune, God only knows, it, it should be well over 400 wheel horsepower. Um, so it, it's not uh, by any means a slouch of a motor and we are talking about uh, a significant upgrade over the stock V6 and a significant upgrade over even a tuned 5.0. The engine's in and it's supported by its own weight. It's uh, or it's supporting its own weight because the crane isn't connected anymore. Yay! It's uh, it's mounted. Those are the uh, BMR engine mounts I got there. Uh, it's not like fully bolted down or anything, but you know it's uh, it's in there, and that's the important bit. Um, and as you can see, it fits. Uh, there's uh, there's definitely clearance for the steering shaft. It's a little hard to tell, but uh, there's probably about, oh, I don't know, half an inch of clearance down there. It looks, it, it's hard to tell, but I can actually fit a whole hand in there. Uh, well, you know, the fingers, not the not the rest of the hand, but still, there's, there's clearance. There's enough clearance and probably enough for slightly bigger turbos, too. Not, not giants, but bigger, for sure. And lots of clearance over here, obviously. There's not really anything to run into, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's in, and that is, uh, that's exciting. So we're getting there. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions or comments down below.